So this is a fun little trick that I came up with just on this job. And I noticed that these cracks have a real specific pattern to them. So when something like old paint splits, you have very tapered ends. So I'll do this uh, zigzag, you know, just in any direction, just do a zigzag stroke, but look how much I taper it so it comes to a sharp little point. And then for some reason, it always wants to do kind of a Y shape. So they're, they're usually, there's a ton of them that are this three pronged shape. So, and they also like to not connect. So I think it's because of the stretchiness of the paint. So you'll have another one coming side by side, another one coming to the side of that this way. And I just squiggle them and then I turn these into little Y shapes like this. And then maybe here and there, you have one that's straight and goes with the brush strokes of the paint. And then occasionally I'll just do a cross section like this, right here, like that. And I can make very realistic looking cracks. And then watch this here, like this, make one come down here. If I make a big one, I can put a highlight on it and make it look very three-dimensional. Look, I'll just put this brighter color right on this top little edge and that tiny detail, these cracks already have your attention. So you're already tuned in and this tiny little highlight just convinces you even further that these are real three-dimensional cracks in this wall or in the paint. Just those little highlights right there. My hands are so shaky, they kind of naturally do the zigzag shapes. See, I can make artificial cracks.